for chemistry Sibang. So circles last time. Let us look at this uh, figure. Now the information that we have is that AC is a diameter. So this line AC is a diameter. It is passing through the center of the circle O. And chord BD, this chord, chord BD, chord BD is perpendicular to the to the diameter of the circle. Okay. Now write down the angle PQR. Write down angle PQR in terms of X. Okay. How should we do this question? Uh, sir, I didn't solve this question. Okay. So, let us try to understand this question. But, sir, I can try it. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. okay I've done the solution. Can you explain me the solution? Can you explain uh, me? Sure, sure. Me? Yeah. Okay. Sir, in this question, we have angle AOB, which is given as x degree. So, therefore, angle ADB would be x upon 2. So, basically, what you were saying is that this is a chord. This is a chord. This chord is making a certain angle at the center and a certain angle at the circumference. So, we are given this angle. This angle is equal to x. Therefore, the angle which this chord AB is forming at the circumcircle, what do we have on this? So if this is x, this is x, right? Okay. What x is it to be? So if angle ADB is x upon 2, then angle ACB will also be x upon 2. Okay. So therefore, the equation that will be formed is Q is equal to x upon 2. Okay. So what you were saying is that this is a circle. This is a chord. <laughs> this angle and this angle. These two angles would be equal. Am I correct? Yes. yes, sir. So this angle Q would be equal to this x by 2. Am I correct? Yes, yes sir. So the first relationship that I have is that Q would be equal to x by 2. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay. What next? Sir, uh, angle ADC would be 90 degree. Angle ADC. Okay, let us try to understand. This is the diameter of the circle. Therefore, this hole would be 90 degree. Okay, what next? Sir, next x upon 2 plus r will be equal to 90 degree. Shabash. This we know is x by 2. This is marked as r. So x by 2 plus r would be equal to 90 degrees. So I can calculate for r, r would be equal to 90 degrees minus x by 2. So q I have written in terms of x, r I have written in terms of x. Okay, now I'm left with p. Okay, what next would you see? Sir, so we have, uh, we can take triangle DAC, take all the angles and add them which will be equal to 180. So you have P plus X upon 2 plus R plus 90 minus R. So what you suggest here is that we can take uh, this. Uh, one second, I need to this. So what you're suggesting is that we take this as the triangle. Am I correct? Yes. yes. So this is X by 2. I know that I already have R in terms of, uh, actually what I can say is that this hole is a 90 degree, am I correct? Yes. This hole is 90 degree. This is 90 minus R, am I correct? Yes, sir. Mr. Simon, have you understood why this is a 90 minus R? Yes. So, because you have R uh, plus 90, so uh, angle DCA will be equal to 180 minus R plus 90. Basically, what you were saying is that in the question, what we are given is that this is 90 degree. Now, if this is R, okay, let me 
use another color. Okay. This is R. This is 90. Therefore, this would be 90 minus R. Yes, sir. So, okay. So, now we are considering this triangle. This whole triangle. This whole triangle. This is 90, this is 90 minus R, this is P. So 1, 2, 3. The sum of these things would be equal to 180 degree. Would you agree? Yes. Sir. So this is still, we are not still, uh, we haven't still uh, written P in terms of X. So this would be P. This we know is 90 minus R. We are comfortable with R because R we have already written in terms of X. X by 2 plus R, again, R can be written in terms of X. That is not an issue. We are compatible with that. But once we arrive here, what we realize is that this R and R will cancel. If you see any doubt. No doubt. This R and this R will cancel. This 90 will go here. It will become 90. And this X by 2 will become minus X by 2. So we have done all the three. Q is X by 2. R is 90 minus X by 2. And P is 90 minus X by 2. Mr. Sivang, any doubt? No, no. And see, in questions like these, basically what they are asking you is that uh, using the properties of circuits and doing basic manipulation, what they are trying to say is that what they are trying to say is that this P should be written in some form of x. This q should be written as some form of x. This r should be written as some form of some some form of x. Is it making sense? Yes. 